What's up guys, it's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation. In today's video, we are gonna talk about a common distance killer. Now, one of the things we're gonna talk about, especially for the rotational shot, is understanding the entry balance side. Where does this arm move and how does it move? This is a simple video about one of the biggest distance killers we see. One of the things that you tend to see is this. We see athletes who get the arm in a 90 degree angle right from their body so what they're doing is when you notice that notice when i rotate look where the shoulder technically is as i rotate i'm here and then when i get to this position where am i really i'm actually here so what's the deal you see what i'm showing you really simple tip keep your arm as an extension of your shoulder i see this constantly we we have athletes that fly in from all over the united states to come train and this is a common mistake that we tend to see with athletes rotating now there's the opposite of keeping the shoulder this way right there is throwing the shoulder too open, right? Now, because sometimes you see some videos out there and people are saying, throw the arm real hard, but here's the key, throw the arm, not the chest. And one of our other videos, we talked about how the chest tends to open, but for the sake of simplicity, what we're gonna be thinking about again is the role of the balance arm. And again, inside our throwing chain reaction system, we address this in each phase in each pillar. What is the system, in case you're new to the channel, is we take this throw that happens happens in just under two seconds, it's unnatural and it's technically complex. So how do we simplify it? We break those two seconds down into six pillars and we work each individual piece, which helps you identify your weak link in the throw, train that weak link, put it back together, and now you should be throwing faster. Perfect example, we just had an athlete out here this past weekend and uh, she was a 40 foot glider. Now she's a, she's thrown 45 in training off of a rotation. She's been rotating for about five months and we've done all the training with the exception of two small training camps. We've done it all virtually online and using the system. Now, why is this important? Because she was one of these athletes. She was, is the opposite where she's opening everything too much. And if you looked at our video on how to move around the axis from the beginning to think to create more speed in your throw, you'll notice that you can't do that when the shoulders out of position so the left arm stays on balance right and it stays long until it has to wrap that creates a kind of gathering in the throw and then you kind of are going to kind of open up so you can square up and hit the throw so if you are allowing your throwers to start like this and turn this is going to lead to an open shoulder you see where my arm is my arm now actually dictates the real position you'll see how i'm too open and i'm going to have a big problem trying to finish the throw creating speed adding power and all of that and i'm most likely going to foul on top of it all because of i'm starting with my arm here versus here so again inside the throwing chain reaction system we show you how to sequence all this kind of great stuff and that link are somewhere below in the description so thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions uh, be sure to submit comment below hit that subscribe button and we will see you on the next video <laughs>